All right, everyone. Hopefully the sound's a little better in this video since I changed the housing on a GoPro. I'm going to show you how I've been climbing and I'm gonna try something that someone commented on one of my previous videos. I'm gonna try something new. So on the video that he commented on, I was using a hitch climber system with the hitch climber pulley from DMM and a eye-to-eye -eye, uh, Prusik. And what I was doing is I was taking, I was using the Petzl Sentry and I was putting it on this line here and I wasn't using the pulley at the time and I'm going to use the pulley now. But I was running the rope up through a, this carabiner onto here. So when I was going up, I was having to move this every time like that. And I realized the, the reason why I was doing that is because I was using, when I was using a Blake's hitch instead of a hitch climber pulley, I was using this to pull down on. And then my uh, my Blake's hitch was being tended by a, by a, I was actually using a carabiner hooked to this line to pull it up. So I, I was just stuck on using this line and I was continuously having to move the ascender up each time. And what he suggested was putting it on this line and I didn't even think about that. And by doing that, it will just go up with me and I won't have to do it. I won't have to move it myself. And after he told me that, I thought of something else actually. And I think that I can put both of these onto here sort of as a, like a fail safe. And it should, maybe not, maybe that won't work. So we're gonna try it like that. This is the way that he said, which seemed like it would work when I was doing it, but now that I'm here, it's only, it's not working. Oh, that's such a bummer because I totally thought that it would. See? Oh, it's not going to work. Unfortunately, it's not going to work. That's why I put it on this line. See, with it on that line, it goes back up. And it did make sense. It thought that that would work, but I guess it doesn't work. I'm kind of bummed about that because that sounded so much easier. But what I'm thinking I might do is I might, when I pull my line up, I think I might run some uh, paracord with it. So I'll have paracord running through my friction saver along with my climbing line. Then on the downside of that, I can hook it to this and I can pull the ascender all the way up to the top. All the way up there. And then, whoa, pulled on the wrong one. I hate when I do that. Then I can just climb like this the entire way up. Or I can just ascend it to where I want to do it. And normally I only do that. I do this method until I get about, oh, six or eight feet up. Because then there's enough weight on the line under the zigzag that I can push the line straight through. Whereas right now, it won't, it just bunches up right here. It's not enough pulling out to go up. So we can try that now. I don't know if I'm quite high enough yet. So, I'm really bummed that that didn't work because I thought that was going to make it a lot easier on me. 
So if you have any other ideas, let me know. And we, I'll try them. Oh, I'm feeling weak today. I'm worn out. I climbed yesterday, so I'm a little tired today. Well, anyway, we tried. Thanks for the suggestion, Justin, but maybe there's another way. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong compared to what you said, but hopefully I can figure something out. Thanks for watching.